Cedar Rapids Community School District plans to make major changes in its school resource officer program. Tonight, KWW reporter Diego Hernandez is talking with the district about what students should expect come this fall. The SRO program was put in place back in 2011 before many of the administrators were even a part of the district and reports from the Department of Human Rights show the disparities in complaints made against white and black students, which the deputy superintendent says was disappointing to see. We have to look at our entire student population and do what's best for each and every student that we serve. Since 2015, African American students have been cited the most by school resource officers when compared to students of other races. Cedar Rapids schools are now looking into why that is and how to change that. We've just been working with the black student unions and again the Cedar Rapids Police Department really digging into data and figuring out how can we utilize them better, what does this look like for the future and what changes need to be made. Years of data collected shows the need for additional inclusion, diversity and equity education, something the district is looking to implement by next year. Training that hopefully will lead to restorative practices instead of arrests. And coach and train students, provide them with you know, the outlets, maybe mental health services, maybe it's counseling services, maybe it's alcohol treatment. School officers currently undergo 40 hours of specialized training with about 10 of those hours focused on diversity, but some think that isn't enough. We recognize it. We know it's not where we want it to be as an entire team. So our goal is to collaboratively work with that and what are those action steps we're going to take so things look differently for Cedar Rapids students for the upcoming school year. And surveys went out to district parents, students, staff, and even community members for input on the SRO program and its effectiveness. And it's open right now on the district website. In Cedar Rapids, Diego Hernandez, New 7, KWWL. Yeah, Diego, thanks for the update. By the way, in-person listening and feedback sessions are on the schedule for next week. Information on when and where those sessions can be found later tonight on our website as we update this story on KWWL. Dot com.